Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the text field input widget. This couldn't be simpler. Basically, a text field they can input text into. Addy as a regular child is called text field, like so. And in here, there's a whole bunch of properties that you can modify. So before we go on to the on change on tap stuff, so you can change the style, the decoration, you know, stuff like the color. You can change, you know, even the cursor properties as well, like the radius, the width, the color. So you can do a lot of, you know, customization. You can disable it. So you do you can set enable to false for that. Set the max length as well. So if you want to, re, you know, have, you know, restrict the the length, the number of lines, all that stuff. I want you to, you know, have a go at that yourself and the text align, all of that stuff. But what I want to show you is, you know, when you type something in. So if I just actually show you what we get so far. So we get this little text box here. So that's the reason I want you to mess around with the the decoration properties and the theme, etc. To, you know, get a better looking text field. But at the moment, you know what's happening with that text so what we can do is some really good stuff so with the unchanged method takes a string call it str and this basically gets triggered every single time a change occurs in that text field so if you add a character it will get triggered if you add 10 characters it get triggered 10 times if you delete a character it will get triggered so if i just simply do if i just print out str and you'll see what we get. Uh, okay. And so as you can see, we got all of that, but I want to clear this for a second. So, so essentially we got like a you know a blank slate. If I type in H, we get H. But if I type in the word hello really fast, as you can see we get hello. Obviously, if I do with the keyboard, it's still the same thing. If I put space, W O R L N D as you can see we get everything here it actually you know includes the space whereas here doesn't so every single change is picked up right here and what you can do from here you could maybe have another variable so what you could do is string let's say txt equals that so it's just empty and we can say txt equals str so that way we can keep track of what the text field is essentially you know you know what the text field has inside of it in terms of what the user's input outside of the text field the benefit of that is maybe if we had a login form username password we can keep it on track of it then when the user clicks the button to submit it like login for example it can use these variables to do the check and you know appropriately you can log them in provide a message saying you know incorrect you know password and you know username combination whatever it is but that's the way you would you know go about it there's other methods as well so you can do on tap so that's just triggered when you tap it so when so not it's not when you input in something but it's when you highlight it essentially there's also on submitted so if you were to click enter or you know something that was trigger submit event so on the login form that's really cool you don't have to necessarily press login this is also triggered which has the string as well so the great thing about that is if on submit you can get the string and from that you could pass it into another method which could potentially validate it and that's really for the text field so by now you should you know have you know pretty good knowledge and you should be able to get to grips with stuff like the text alignment the you know the the decoration stuff the style all that stuff and i want you to customize that yourself but if you have any questions i am here so feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video